So imagine that you have started using a Jira service desk and in Jira service desk you also have an option to basically take uh, approvals and when it comes to approvals basically you want someone to approve your request and that someone is uh, of course uh, some user in your uh, Jira. Now there could be a case when you have to modify the approvers and I'm talking about approvers because uh, today I received this question on the community changing approver for existing request. Now this question was asked by Lynn, Lynn Shriver and uh, basically Lynn is asking about uh, if we have to modify the approvers, especially when uh, the approvers are no longer relevant, for example. So for some reason, Lynn wants to modify the approvers. So let me show you how, how we can do it very easily and uh, very quickly as well. So first of all, when it comes to approvers, if you take a look at uh, an issue, let me get rid of my face so you can take a look at the screen. So here you can see that we have uh, one approval required from this person called uh, Ravi Sagar and let us say you want to change it to someone else. So for one individual issue you can always uh, click on the edit button and uh, you can uh, find this particular field called approvers. Now this field should be there on the edit screen that is how Jira works. If you want to modify something, the field should be on the edit screen of your issue type for the project, of course. So let us say you want to change it to something else, so you can always change it. But let us say you have more than one issue that you want to modify. So let us see how we can how we can do the same thing, basically in bulk. Now, when doing it in uh, bulk, let me try to open the um, issue navigator and uh, I will write a JQL. Now when, when it comes to approvals, you have to use something like this. Approvals is equal to and you have this uh, function, JQL function called approver. So let us say you want to modify all the issues where your uh, approver is let us say Ravi or some some user and you want to modify it to something else so let me try to search I, I think I need to pass the username so I can uh, maybe type in Ravi Sagar I, I forgot my username so let me search for Ravi so there is no user with Ravi so let me do one thing let me do uh, let me just modify and uh, for the sake of simplicity I will uh, add uh, Ravi here for one issue for IST1 and maybe for uh, one more issue let us find one more issue in our issue in our uh, Jira service test project and for this one as well I will modify the approver to maybe Ravi this user called Ravi so let us do that and hopefully now we should be able to find two issues where approver is Ravi so just uh, one here. Let me, uh, so I think uh, what happened with the other one? Oh, okay. So I think this, uh, let me just create one more. So let us create one more issue very quickly. And uh, I need a new machine and I'm requesting uh, Ravi to approve it. So let us go back to the issue navigator. So we have two issues which is good but uh, but for some reason I'm curious to know why it is not really working for this particular field. Well, uh, maybe it's a different field. Is it? Yeah I think it's a different field I believe for this particular issue. Let me check the project settings and uh, let me check this this the screen for uh, 
the so the screen is same and uh, we have i believe uh, fields here called uh, approver so we definitely have one one field called approver so let us go back and uh, i'm just uh, curious why that particular issue was not coming up ist1 the field is uh, approver come on okay anyways i'll uh, probably troubleshoot it later for some reason it is not really showing up but let us say you have to modify this uh, uh, approver to something else now what you can do you can uh, click on uh, bulk change all issues and uh, you can select these two issues if you want to modify let us say more than one using bulk change feature you can click on edit issues then you can click on uh, next button and you have the option here called uh, change approver now you can always uh, modify this field here let us say you want to modify it to something else and uh, or someone else so you can simply do that and click on the next button it will give you this option to confirm so it will tell you that the new field value will be this one confirm and uh, now this will uh, take maybe few seconds hopefully yes so now we are done so this is how you can uh, modify if and if i go back to my issue which is IST-13 you can see here that we have the approval which is which was actually Ravi and now it is Ravi Ocean and that is how you will uh, change the approval so this is all this is all this is all I want to share in this video I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much